Who would ever think that a lovely Thomas the Tank Rhydon would have one of Australia's most deadly spiders living underneath? But this is Australia where spiders seem to be lurking in every nook and cranny of anything you pick up. So yes, it's time to work out what trash is actually treasure as I investigate the summer 2019 curbside cleanup. There'll be many things to ponder. Why has this brand new ladder been thrown out on the rubbish heap? Why, all of a sudden, am I finding sets of golf clubs in front of nearly every house? And why do we have this addiction to cheap Chinese rubbish that is basically destroying your economy? This rubbish inspection is a little bit different because there were massive fires around Sydney as I videoed this, so everything's got a yellow tinge to it as the fires get closer and closer to Sydney. Okay, let's do it! And this is going to be my call out to Coles. Stop generating this rubbish toys uh, connected to try and market stuff and sell more rubbish. Uh, look where it ends up. It's just cheap rubbish. It just breaks really easily. Please desist Coles, please. Okay, it's a summer cleanup time. It is a clearer day. There has been lots of smoke around, but what I caught my eye was these wonderful Nerf guns. There are two there. Uh, nice big ones, not often I see the big ones getting thrown out. A Nerf Mega. Mega because it's so big. Wonderful thing, still got this magazine there. And also another one here, and this one's a little bit more complicated. It's a Vulcan EBF 25. That might get some people very excited. A bit of spiderific uh, stuff going on here, but that's not gonna scare me because I'm Australian. Oh, I just love the sound and the feel of these. I believe that's some sort of magazine. Man, look at this. Whoa! That is fantastic. I'm, I'm thinking I might even take that one home. It looks great. I believe that possibly connects with that. Although I'm not that sure. I know the Nerf fanatics are going to tell me, but this thing's just got a fantastic feel to it. A nice weight. Wow. Stunning. Very popular toys with boys and girls. It's uh, Hasbro Company, I believe, does Nerf. I never really got into showing these types of toys on YouTube because it's sensitive about guns. Well, now YouTube's sensitive about toys. So it's a double whammy, isn't it? In fact, YouTube's sensitive about everything. I think I've worked out how this works. Okay, yeah, I think that goes with that. And I think it lays across this section here. Please correct me if I'm wrong. Have I got it around the right way? Oh, do I know what I'm doing here? It's something like that. Close that up and bombs away. This is a very impressive toy in many, many ways. Um, just wonderful to look at. And I've just remembered something about this and what I don't like about this. It's the one with the bigger bullet. And I just had a thing about the red color of that and the magazine. That's, yeah, that's the big Nerf dart. Oh, I shouldn't say the word bullet. Oh, I'll be demonetized. Yes, I don't think the larger scale stuff is ever as popular as the smaller scale. I can prove my point here. This is a normal scale Nerf dart without using the word bullet or else I get into trouble. And then you can just see how much smaller that is versus the mega size. Uh, that's the scale. That's very popular. As a good boy, I'll put things back as I found. I'm really hoping they get picked up without the charity shop in the suburb anymore. I see this sort of stuff getting thrown out all the time. I'm so won't we, won't we on the side of the road. Yeah, so there's people picking through piles just ahead of me. What is very unusual is, this time last year there was lots and lots and lots of cicadas. There's none. Hear that silence in the background? And what is even more unusual is, my cicada study that I did last year, both videos got hammered and basically hidden away by the YouTube system and when they first went up they were demonetized both of them for about four days so as soon as that happens I know the video is going to get killed off and this is happening to me way way too many times but those cicada videos which were normally very popular for me well the last two killed by the system Sorry for that whinge, but it's an important whinge for me to tell you. And let's see what's inside this box. It may cheer me up. Ah, look at that. A beautiful wooden toy. Like I said, you know, if the cherry shop was here. That would be gold down there. A couple of other bits and bobs of toys. That's a toy grabber gun. Hope there wasn't a spider on it. It was like being bitten. 
Oh, look at this, a nice little children's first aid kit. You know what, I might need something in this because I'm about to look at a Tonka truck. And these often, well, often become spider homes. Uh, this is the more modern style because of the, the rust that you see like that. Uh, sadly, they don't last too long these days. The old classic stuff is really good. The newer stuff, not so good. I can see spider web here. And maybe if I turn it upside down, I wish I had gloves on. We might see something spiderific. Oh! <laughs> no, Spidey! These become the perfect, perfect spider homes in the country where I live. And if I tilt it up to the sun, hopefully without being bitten, we get a much clearer picture of what's going on in there. Spidey, Spidey, Spidey. It's early days for that spider nest in there. Um, yeah, it's just sad that the, the more modern versions of these toys uh, tend to rust so easily. And thank goodness I didn't need that medical kit. Okay, some nice homemade rustic charm. Rustic in many ways. Now I walked past this a number of times and I was trying to work out what it is. Apart from being a gas cylinder on top which has got a door cut into it. This would be the perfect spider home, you know. I can see spider web there. <laughs> Sometimes you don't want to open things up, do you? Mmm, crikeys. I wonder what this was for. Okay, obviously you set a fire down the bottom here. There's the air vents there, and you were burning something up here, and that's a very, very tough thing to now close up. Oh, I can't close it up, but uh, if I stand it up, ooh, that was a fail that just toppled over because one of the legs is bent there. It has got a hole going up through there. How I'm not being bitten by a spider is beyond me, because this would be the perfect red back spider home. Yeah, uh, maybe it was something for knife making. Maybe it was a homemade kiln. Very unusual. So what's next to that kiln, or whatever it is, is this here, and I don't think this will be around for very long. It's a woodworking vise. Okay, could clean this up quite nicely. Yeah, that's the sort of thing that, uh, that'll be picked up and repurposed. Just doing a real quickie here. Uh, this stuff here is about to be picked up. I just had a chat to the gentleman. I said I want to take a video of this. Often I see car ramps, these are in good nick, paint them up, yeah, uh, repurpose that, easily repurpose that stuff there as well, plus, although I know about these, um, a car jack, often the rams in these are <laughs> oops, shouldn't have used that word, um, I think that's a throw out. It's the quick and the dead with these rubbish piles, that gentleman's just left that pile that I just looked at, I might just go back and see exactly what he picked up. Okay, this is where that stuff was, and it looks like my crikey's, my prediction of what was going to be left behind was exactly right. That car jack there, I know all about these because I've had one of these, I know how they fail, they get leaky rams, and it's a spider nest as well. My crikey, <laughs> do we really want to look into that or not? Yeah, that's the problem area, okay? And all the other things that I said were sort of the rustic goodness have gone. I'm an inquisitive person, I like to poke around spider nests, I don't think we'll see a spider here but I want to show you how this has become the perfect spider home which would tell me that it's been laying around doing nothing for some period of time. Look at that web down there, I don't think Spidey's going to come and show us his glory. Methy stuff. And like a good boy I will write this the uh, right way up. I'll just clean that off there, maybe that's going to tell us something about this hydraulic trolley jack thing. Back before stuff was made in China, made in Taiwan there, and no serial number. Hmm. I get amazed with just about every pile of rubbish, even if it is just rubbish, because every rubbish pile has a story to tell, something to say. And as always, there's the office chairs. That's that Wonwe office chair I spoke about earlier. What I'll do, I'll be good to it, I'll take it down to its friends. I'd hate to see it so lonely, and its friends are down here. Aren't I good to the office chairs, hey? Always thinking about them. Oh, it's gonna try and bite me. Go away! Ah! Doesn't want to leave me. It's found a new lover. Ugh. Man, did it put up a fight? It wanted to stick to me. Oh, I quite like this pile of rubbish. It's a bit like an office supply franchise. This one, look at that. Some nice folders there and things. Other bits and bobs for your office. Of course, it'll be a box full of well, boxes. Very nice. Uh, nice stacked shelves there. More things for your office there. Who needs to go to the office shop to buy the office supplies? Because it's all here. 
Right next to the office stuff, I, I know what this is. It's a piece of scaffolding. It's like the, the foot to a scaffolding system. A lot of people ended up with bits of scaffolding left behind because they had scaffolding around their house when they had their roof put on if they could fight the insurance company to get a new roof. Uh, I think someone will see that and pick it up. I hope. I'm a curious person. I always like to open up a box to find out what's inside. Oh, okay. A couple of small toys. Do you know your toy? I can't talk about toys too much or else this will be a kid's video. It reminds me of Woodrow from Simon Townsend's Wonderworld, but that probably means nothing. I think that's a Happy Meal toy. Teen Titans, I hope I'm correct there, or else you're going to be screaming at me. Oh, but Leo, it's something totally different. A little toy Thor. Um, I've forgotten the brand of that toy. You'll tell me because I'm not an expert anymore. Okay, more little toys like this. It looks like really, oh. Aha! Uh -huh. My son screamed for this. It was a variant of a Nerf gun that basically, oh, should I say, I shouldn't say the word gun. I'll get into trouble. But I'll be blooping those words out. It shot cars. And even saying the word shoot's going to get me into trouble. But I resisted and resisted and we never got into that variation of, of Nerf things. Okay? Shoes. I think it'd be a little girl's box of toys here. Actually, I see a bit of, that's a little bit of Roblox. Looks like a Christmassy thing, doesn't it? Yeah, I could go digging further, but I could be classified as a toy video, and that would secure the end of this video. Okay, a lawnmower. It is GMC, Global Machinery Company. We haven't seen that brand here in Australia for some time. Obviously, in a little bit of distress. Uh, that's the starter system there. Okay. Hopefully there's no spidey that's going to jump at me. It looks like it's only just been recently pulled apart because all the screws and stuff are there. I'm just going to feel it here. It's not. It's feeling a bit tight, okay? Uh, just looking around at this, look, I, I had one of these and from my memory, it actually, it wasn't too bad. Although I can see a problem with this one that I don't like. It's going to be hard to show on video. I like a mower where the back wheels are completely in line with the front and this mower here doesn't comply with that rule that I have. Maybe you can see it from this shot here. Oh, put it this way, I got caught out by my ICTA lawnmower, which has the same sort of issue. A good way to see what sort of life a, a mower has had is to look underneath. I won't mess this up too much. I'll just put this to the side and that piece there. And I'll just carefully roll it over. Hopefully no spiders will jump at me. Okay, just looking here, it's um, a powered assisted mower by that there and also by the lever on the handle. Underneath here, it actually doesn't look too bad. If they've had a tough life, underneath here gets banged around. It's missing the base plate here and the blades. Uh, but I can see a bit of a spiderific thing going on up here. That's sort of saying redback spider to me. But spiders will turn what we have into their little homes. Uh, the wheels will often tell a story of how much work this is done, look, my memory from GMC stuff, there was some really good stuff they had, especially in the power tool realm. And my mower, from memory, wasn't too bad at all. Maybe this will talk to us, and wow, it is. It's saying that this is made in Italy. Very, very curious. And as far as I knew, the latest stuff came from China. And like a good boy, I always put things back as they were. I'd hate to be accused of wrecking the beauty of the suburb. This is uh, a newish part of the suburb. Notice there's no telegraph poles here. The power's underground, which is very unusual. And I saw something on the side of the road here that caught my eye. I've got this thing about vacuum cleaners, and this one's called a Dirt Devil. Very red in colour. Uh, I'll have to have a bit of a feel of this to tell you whether it's a good one or a bad one. Hmm. Okay, let's take a look at that there. There's the vital stats there. Can we work out a build date? I'll tell you what's shouting out at me. Made in China. I feel the hose doesn't feel too bad. Hmm. I don't know. To me, it's looking a little bit generic. It reminds me of the Vax style vacuum cleaner. And I look around here and it can tell you how much work it's done by the scuffs and everything. Let's take a look at the brush area. Okay, well I'm looking at the brushes very carefully and what I know from the vacuum cleaners that I've had if something's done a lot of work these brushes will be worn down. Uh, this brush actually doesn't look too bad. I'm just rotating it there so you can see what's going on. Hmm. 
Very, very common thing to see out in the rubbish pile, uh, vacuum cleaners. This one being an upright one. Maybe if I take a look at the dust collection area, that might tell me a bit more about this one. A bit of a swivel there, and now I see something like that. Now it's a sort of cleaner that will just get clogged up and you lose suction. Nah, don't want to know about it. I think the old dirt devil pet, there would have been a devil to um, have good suction, and I th think I'll just leave it as rubbish, eh? Well, this pile of rubbish here was one where I found the piece of the Thomas and Friends bridge jump set. It was a couple of seasons back now, and it's proving to be quite a curious uh, load of rubbish here, as well as the professional pickers are just beside me watching me make this silly video. Well, there's curiously um, boxes of paint here. Mind you, I don't think the rubbish people can take that away. There's books here as well. Oh, look at that. There's one of the bigger Nerf darts. Nearly said the word bullet and would have got me into trouble. I spoke about those earlier on. And there's another box of paint here. Yeah, I can tell you this now. The council will come along and see that. They won't touch it. In fact, I can see more mega Nerf darts there. Look at that here. And I had the gi giggle at this one. It's, it's, I'm pretty sure it's a knockoff bag. It's Fortnite. It sort of tells you where Fortnite is these days. It's out in the rubbish pile. Didn't take long, did it? A lot of people would be very happy to see that. There's a box to one of these here. That looks like fun, doesn't it? Um, sadly, it's empty. Oh, what lovely gentlemen to talk to. There they go, the professional pickers. I actually learn lots from speaking to those people because they really know uh, the things that can be on sold. Notice that they left the cheap vacuum cleaners here. Okay. One there and one there. There's like a really fancy dollhouse there. Uh, they sort of pick through a lot of the boxes there. Yeah, if you ever get to speak to people who professionally go through stuff like this, uh, very, very interesting. Actually seeing something in here, I mean, that made me giggle. There we go. Where did Frozen end up on the rubbish pile? <laughs> Just, Disney ain't gonna like me saying that. What's this? It's, oh, it's a mega thing. Okay, this must go with those mega darts. It's like a bow and arrow nerf thing. Wow, that that is quite crazy. I don't ever remember seeing that in the stores. Very, very interesting. I better put it back on the rubbish pile. I'll always remember this rubbish pile area because of that crazy piece of Thomas and Friends place it that I found, but considering the professional pickers have been through this here, I don't think there's much left to pick. Mind you, there is this tub here, and I think if my wife saw this, she'd say, oh, can you bring those home, dear, from my pop plants? Sorry, dear, same little rubbish pile. Actually, I have found something in here. Didn't see it before, look at that. Sandpaper. P240 and other grades as well. You beauty. Okay, something I often see on the rubbish pile and it's these patio heaters as I'll call them. They've got gas bottles usually in the bottom to power them. But what really caught my eye, hmm, is this ladder here. Why is it out in the rubbish pile? Okay, it's a rhino ladder. It's got aluminium steps and uh, it's a curious one because it's got the fiberglass side on it. What has gone wrong with this ladder? I'll just open it out and we'll see where it's gone wrong. Now this is a very curious one. This ladder has failed uh, down on the base here. That's the part that connects with the ground. It's got a massive split there. And when I take a look at the other side, uh, this is even worse. So maybe it's fallen off the back of a truck or something. That's the bottom piece, which is really important in a ladder because if these give way or you haven't got these, the ladder slips away from you. Wow, whatever's done that uh, must have been a pretty serious bang. I've got Mr. Muffler going behind me. That thing, he played her. That's a very interesting find. That would not have been a cheap unit, I can tell you that. I will put it back together. I think it's non-repairable seeing damage like that because you can't muck around with dodgy ladders. And I'll make a prediction here. I reckon someone will come along and pick that up and attempt to fix it. That's my gut feeling. Okay, this is looking a little bit oddball, so let's take a look. Oh, a nice Weber barbecue. It's not often I see these. Let's just feel this. Man, had a nice weight to that section there. Yes, that's had crispy critters in there. I can't see any spiders, which is unusual. A nice bin there for your kitchen or workshop or whatnot. Nicely laid out boxes there. I like a bit of order when people put stuff out. This impresses me. 
anything that little tykes does impresses me it's a little toy lawnmower and look at that it's got its own little fuel thing i just love the way little tykes does stuff like that but this is what i saw and i thought this is weird i think they are scooters big wheel scooters very big wheel and i don't think i'll just try and get these up i don't think these would have been cheap they're sort of locked together okay they're actually quite heavy uh kick bike I don't know whether that's a brand or whatnot. And a brake system like that, which comes back up to this section here. Okay, I'm yeah, I call it ritzy because I'm looking at the way these are made. Uh, this doesn't look cheap at all to me. Yes, I'm just trying to find something where it's made. Oh, it might be made in China, but that might be totally wrong. I can see that there. Maybe that's talking to you. There used to be stickers here that might have been bike shop stickers. Well, they've gone. Maybe underneath here, I'll see something if I push these over and take a look. That's just revealed to me. It looks like some spider web with pet hair caught up in there. Actually, I've just seen a horrible, horrible ant uh, just there. So I have to be a little bit careful here. I'm, oh, crikeys. I better get up here soon. But what I do see here is designed by something, something, Finland. But that doesn't mean it was made in Finland. I think I was kneeling on a nasty ant nest there and I think I might just leave those and the audience can fill in the gaps on those scooty there. And my prediction is uh, they will be picked up and repurposed. It's basically been a year since a hailstorm. Some people are still waiting to get their roofs fixed. Some really, really crazy insurance stories that have been going on as well. Uh, but let's take a look at one of these here and I will keep Parking on about how stupid these are and how many of these I see on the rubbish pile. It's a little steam uh, steam mop thing. They are such a common item. Let's take a look at the tag there. There you go. It says, warning, dangerous scolding. How about warning, danger of blowing your money? Made in China. Absolute guaranteed way to blow your dough. And there's a microwave here. Okay, it's a Panasonic. And we'll take a look at the info thing in there. Okay, there's the important info. Well, the thing that I don't like seeing there is made in China. They were much better when they were made in Japan. Oh, I grind for the good old days, don't I, all the time. And I'll just put this back the way it was. How well do you know your furniture if something's relatively new or something that's old or something that's, you know, worth something or something that's worth nothing? I'm looking at this here, I can see the carpentry on it. It's a little bit ragtag, but early furniture was like that. It's got wire here. Obviously got shelves inside, wire on the side as well. I'm sort of thinking, well, what was it used for? Is it new, old, or fake rustic, you know, real rustic? I can't tell, but what I do like the look of, just changing the subject there very fast, is this humdinger here. Is that the brand name there, Pookie? I don't know what Pookie is, but I'll tell you what, this Pookie looks like fun. Uh, obviously, you sit in here, you pedal it there. I'm just trying to work out how old this is. It would have been, man. It just would have been a stack of fun uh, riding this. It had a brake like this. Okay, and I noticed that on this wheel here, uh, they're sort of solid wheels. It's been worn down. I'll take a look at what it used to be like. It looks like that, although that's a bit softer. Oh, I see, there's a, okay. There's like a soft rubber on the outside. It's like a traction tire. And there's a hard wheel underneath. Let me just roll this over and might tell us more about this. Hey, woo! Like everything in Australia, give it half a chance and it'll turn into a spider nest. I think if uh, all humanity left Australia, the spiders would take over. This is the drivetrain here. You pedal here. Uh, the nice rustic chain goes back to the back cog here to give you your power. Yes, it's just spiderific. Uh, to me, it doesn't feel like it's made in China. It has a bit of a, a better build quality to it, I feel. It also says that on the side, it's uh, feeling European. It's nice, I just hope it gets repurposed and give them more love. Just across the road from the bookie is this nice mixed uh, pile of rubbish in a semi-neat sort of order, but what caught my eye, and we were just talking about Spidey, is this chart here. I can definitely relate to a noisy exhaust. They should put this sign up at uh, Sydney Airport, welcome to Australia, and most people run back home. Sydney Funnel Web. Okay, um, they are around, but I haven't found one in my backyard yet, thank goodness. Uh, redback spider, very common where I live. The white tail, just reading how dangerous these spiders are. These ones here, it says here, painful bite uh, venomous spiders. 
Okay, the one I can relate to is the wolf spider here, and also the black house spider, lots of them. Okay, and then down here, it says here, low risk spiders. Well, I'll have a bit to say about this here. Okay, I, there are trapdoors around, but I don't see them. This really isn't the scale as well. These two here, the garden orb and the St. Andrew's cross, very common spiders, uh, particularly summertime. Uh, but the huntsman here, they are risky because you get them in your car and people die of spider fright. And that is a known fact. So it's always a little bit curious how they categorize spiders and really the problem with this chart is it's not to scale. And I will put that back where it, uh, I got it from because I'm a tidy, tidy rubbish boy. It's still smoky hazy, it's not nice being outside and breathing this smoke. Uh, I will take a look at this little pile of rubbish here because it's a little bit unusual. Okay, there's a couple of chairs there, nothing wrong with those. But there's a set of golf clubs here. Now, I wouldn't know a good golf club from a cheap one, okay? Uh, who knows, this could be rustic gold here. I know there'll be people in my audience who can identify this stuff for me. I'm hopefully showing you enough spider infested, what is what I don't like. Uh, there's actually, wow, there's actually another set here. Whoa, yeah, baby. Um, I don't know, to me these look good. Okay, man, there are spiders all through this, okay. Something about Australia and... Oh, there's a damn spider... Hang on a sec. Ugh. Just had something run on my hand. Sorry about that. Mm. I should... Maybe I should just mm, put that back over and... We didn't see that, okay. And there is actually another set here, but this doesn't look to be the best set. Mind you, it could be the best set. Look, there's even a golf ball there. you got the whole thing. So obviously someone who is very, very serious into golf. So there's a, a big set there. Okay, there's the, it says Proline. That might be just a brand. There's that one there. And of course, uh, it says PGF there. There was that one there. To me, this one looks like the Mickey Mouse gear. I just do some close-ups here of that. Okay, and I'm sure there'll be people here who can identify exactly what's going on here. There's another little symbol there. And to put the icing on the cake, guess what? That's on a office chair. So my prediction here is that this stuff will be picked up. I actually quite like the cart that's on. I just noticed something. It's got like a little seat here. Okay. Yeah. Um, who knows? That could be the rustic goal in this. I know nothing about golf clubs. Uh, but I do feel that what's on offer there is a little bit too good to be true. No surprise at all, another El Cheapo vacuum cleaner. This one is a Piranha. Man, if I got a dollar off every time I found something like this on the rubbish pile, I'd be a very wealthy person. Let's take a look at this here. I've got a laugh there at the bottom. It says, do not immerse in any liquid. Duh, made in China. And the other laughable thing, 12 month replacement warranty. Yeah, right, as if rubbish. Who needs to buy furniture when there's so much thrown out? But this is what caught my eye. It looks like, I was almost going to say a little Tykes vehicle, but I'm not seeing its brand. It might be one of the cheapy versions of it. Hmm. I'd say it's heavily sun affected. Yeah, it's all got brittly. Okay, and uh, look at the way the wheels have gone as well. It's definitely garbage. Yeah, I don't think. I don't think this is little tykes. Just got that sneaky suspicion. And we can clearly see why it's on the rubbish pile. That pile of rubbish is like a piece of art. Beautiful. What is it about looking at rubbish when you find one thing and often you'll find more of them? Crikey Charlie's more golf clubs. And again, I will tell you, I'm, I know nothing about this. Uh, the people who know their golf can tell me whether they're good, bad or indifferent. This golf set here looks to have been used more recently than the other ones that I saw in the other street. It's Man, it is a comprehensive set of clubs as well. There is stacks of stuff in there. Okay. I might be looking at a whole stack of money here and I don't even know it. But, um, oops, crikey's gravity takes over. Yeah, there's more there. Uh, the audience will tell me all about this. Just going in closer, there's actually all different brand names here. Letting you see everything that's available up a bit closer. Okay, you can see my beautiful reflection. If this is the biggest one, look at that thing there. Imagine being hit by that. Ouch. 
I think that's worth something, but I don't realize it. And as for the other thing there, it's like a little petrol powered whippersnipper. It's really sad when I see this, where basically a year since that massive hailstorm and I'm still seeing homes under tarps. That's wrong. You won't believe this. You know, I talk about themes and you sort of start to see the same thing over and over and over on rubbish piles. I can't believe this, more golf stuff. What is going on with throwing out golf stuff? I've never seen so much golf stuff in all my life. Again, uh, the audience are going to tell me what I'm dealing with here. It looks like an old uh, Spalding set there. Okay. Uh, another another bag here with uh, that there. I could keep saying I know nothing about what I'm looking at, although they look a little bit more rustic and old style. Okay, and there's another bag here. I think you can see the brand on the side there. And this is what's in that one there. There's all these covers and things there. But you get a better look here. That looks more like a more modern setup to me. I might be wrong. It's got a nice little way that it slides into all this. I'm just hoping someone can pick this stuff up and um, give it a bit, bit of life. Because, man, I can't believe all this stuff's been thrown out. Yes, um, one, two, three. Quite amazing. And there's one other thing here that caught my eye. Maybe it caught your eye as well. I'm not sure it'll work, mate. It's almost going to say Black & Decker. You put the legs out like this. I'm not sure that I'll set it up completely here. After about a five minute struggle, I actually worked out all the latches to get this thing up. It's got what looks like a step here. And this is the bit up here where you do your work. You turn these to tighten up things here. I call it the vice section. It's really nice. Uh, I think what they also have is little plugs that plug in here so you can hold things in between the boards here. Yes, yeah, so I think if I leave it up like this, there's a much better chance of someone seeing what it is and picking it up and loving it from here on. Okay, I'm going to revisit a rubbish pile that I had a look at in an earlier part of the video. And I'm going to see if something that I thought was pretty good had been picked up. Mind you, I didn't notice this here before. Look at that, a rip off of the Fast and the Furious. VHS Glory, the regular show would be very pleased with me. Everything's wet and it uh, may be because of the hailstorm thing. A lot of people still got a lot of waterlogged stuff. There's books here. Okay. That there. Looks like they didn't quite finish reading that one. Um, another one there. A bit of a military thing going on, I think. And one of the professional rubbish picker uppers said to me, oh, boxes like this are books. In his mind, were worth $200, but I noticed he left it here. I couldn't quite work out how he thought these were worth 200 bucks, but anyway, they're still left here. But the thing that I was very impressed with was just over here. Oh, crikeys. Actually, oh no. Phew, there's actually one of them left here by the looks of it. This is the amazing Nerf gun, but it, this is the one which needed that other bit to it to put the darts in without saying the word bullet, or else I get in trouble. Okay, well that's here, but I can't see the mega, the mega one, or I can't see the other part that went with this. I'm having a good look around here. That's very unusual. Um, it's sad that that's still here, and and the other component, which is part of it, is gone. And look at the angry sun there. That's what you call a bushfire sun. It's been really, really bad this summer. This is an unusual one, and I like it when there's a bit of comedy on the rubbish pile. I'll get to this side here. I'm not going to read this because it will demonetize the video, but I'll let you read that one right there. Okay, time's up. Something I see often on the rubbish pile. This looks in good nick. I think they're rabbit hutches, or maybe chicken things. I don't know. Maybe you can tell me. A nice Casio, very rustic one. Keyboard thing there, yeah, that is rubbish by the looks of it, but what I see behind me is very, very impressive. Oh, it's gone. Oh, there was a cat there. It's taken off. I see lots of that around the suburb. It's basically the stuff to retile a roof. The timber battens there and also the tiles. If you've got a keen eye, there's a male brush turkey there. So I might be near one of their mounds. Okay, here's the mound here. It's actually right beside a road. And the turkey will keep an eye on me. It's just gone off to the side. I'm not going to go onto the mound because it could potentially be eggs laid into this. It's the males that look after the eggs, which would be inside what looks like a giant mess, but it's actually 
a great big bird nest. If you look on the ground around a mound, you'll see there's all these scratching and scrapings. And basically anything that falls to the ground ends up going into the mound's direction, which is that way there. And they just keep building it bigger and bigger. So when I say it's right next to a road, well, there's the road there. And if I just do a turn like that, there's a brush turkey mound. Okay, uh, a bag of mixed small toys, as I'll call it. One of those counting things, and I can't remember its name. Uh, yes, coals and their little shop collectible things. And it ends up as landfill, plastic. Um, little things like this, a little Barbie jetliner. I think that had uh, the sweets in it. I sort of remember seeing those in the stores. Um, I'm pretty sure uh, things, maybe not that, but I know that was a Happy Meal toy. Okay, um, potentially that was as well, or maybe I'll be corrected. Supergirl, obviously looking at girly stuff here. But um, yeah, it just sort of goes on and on, doesn't it? You could literally spend hours. Oh look, didn't I see something like that before? I'm sure I did. Yeah, oh, actually, there we go. Nice little um, matchbox car there. Girls do play with matchbox vehicles. Nice to see. Sometimes I see a lot of TV antennas. In fact, <laughs> there's a piece of a golf club here. There's this bizarre thing about golf clubs that I keep seeing them. I don't know what it's telling me. But when I see something like this, and it hasn't been a great pickup time for finding toys, this is, I looked underneath already, it's a Hasbro fire engine. Okay, they still make something like this today. It's all here. Crikey, that was a noisy truck, wasn't it? Uh, it's a little bit spiderific in a tiny way. Um, but sadly, it's sort of sun affected and all. I mean, there'd be some children who could still get lots of play out of this. That's the underneath there, and that's the details just there. We'll take a quick look. There we go, Hasbro or Hasbro Tonka. Okay, it says copyright 2011. That would be a copyright date, not a manufacturing date. I'm pretty sure I saw one of these and also a garbage truck. The last time I looked at the rubbish piles, it's got batteries in here, it does lights and sounds. And um, will this be picked up? I don't think so. I think today's children want nice, brand, shiny, spanking new toys and not rustic ones like these. Okay. <laughs> I got a yapping dog and I got some rubbish here. Oh, look at that. It's one of those coals shopping trolleys. It's more plastic rubbish, isn't it? But not everything here is that rubbishy. Look at that there. It's a little tykes play hut. Respect that name. They make good stuff. They really do. Uh, this wouldn't have been a cheap toy. Wish I could give some money to that dog and not be quiet. Uh, you could be selling little things here. Nice and tough. Doesn't look too sun affected. And uh, yeah, just imagine the amount of play that you could have here. It looks like a little kitchen here as well. Fantastic. Part of me wants to rummage through that there, but I think... What's going on? I'm getting lots of doubles of things. Is that something I saw earlier in the video, or am I just dreaming? That's Woodrow from uh, Wonderworld again, isn't it? And this is going to be my call out to Coles. Stop generating this rubbish toys uh, connected to try and market stuff and sell more rubbish. Uh, look where it ends up, it's just cheap rubbish, it just breaks really easily. Please desist Coles, please. Well after that rage, that's going to possibly get me into some trouble, as it always does. I've just seen something that is going to calm my tormented soul that's just down there. Well exercise bikes and things like that, very very common in the rubbish pile. And finally, I think this is the first Thomas item that I've seen in this rubbish pile, and it's an oldie I think. Uh, I'll just try and carefully pick this up. It's got a great Thomas face there. Okay, um, a little bit spiderific under parts like that. It's quite sun affected. I'm just having a general appraisal first. I think something here would flip up. Yes, yeah, more spider homes in there. <laughs> it's pretty much uh, what Australia's about. A little bit of a coal bunker on the back here. Okay, very, very uh, deckled or de deckled. And um, looks like you could steer the wheels here, and those wheels there would do that. And let me just flip it over to find out a date, if I can see one. Ooh, I found more than just a date under here. I'm going to have to deal with a redback spider. Let me just find a stick so I can tease the spider out. This is very interesting. In a number of ways, there are ants actually attacking the redback spider's egg sacs, which are in there. Let me get the camera in closer. 
hopefully that's a red back in uh, focus there. She'd be a little bit uh, aware of me because I've been tickling her home base here. Let's take a look at the egg sacs. This is amazing. Uh, I've always thought that ants are one of the main things that will drive a red back spider out of its home. Look at that there. Those ants are really going for those egg sacs there. And I can't see the redback spider combating the ants. So we're educational on YouTube. Uh, this is very classic redback spider nest. Uh, you'll often see drabs of leaves like this. When I turned it over straight away, I knew what I was dealing with. Uh, to have the egg sacs there, it's the right time of year. And uh, see the spider there, of course. If it's a nest, you tend to see the spider. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to nail a spider and then the ants will have more to feed on. I'll just clear away some stuff here to give me a bit of a clearer shot at what's going on here. Well, with my stick here, I'm going to be nice and fast and hopefully just knock that spider out. Then the ants can have a feed. Oh, I think. I think I've got her there. That's very much a good night. Sister shot right there. Now I'll clear away the rest of this here. I'll disrupt the egg sacs and then the ants will have a feeding frenzy proper. We like our ants and we don't really want to know about our red backs. Might be a little bit of collateral damage there, but hey, there's always plenty of ants and I think that's going to make the ants very happy. Ah uh, yes, one very, very happy bunch of ants. Uh, I am glad that I found this red back spider. Imagine the garbage collector coming along, finding this toy and not knowing what was underneath. Or even worse still, imagine a child playing with this toy and not knowing what was underneath and what's lurking there at the will of this toy. Now, I see it all the time and it's really, really good if you can identify the trouble areas. Redbacks uh, tend to have very, very distinctive styles of nests and web setups. I got so fascinated by the redback spider there. Let's take a look at the date. Didn't I say this was an early one? Oh my crikey, we're going back a few years here. Ghislaine Thomas Limited 2000 Hunter Products. Wonderful. We can do without the made in China. One day that will be fixed. I'll put this back around so Thomas is happy on his wheels again. So there you go. Expect the unexpected with a Thomas toy on the rubbish piles in Australia. As I've often said, Australia's not for everyone. Another beautiful pile of mixed rubbish. And I do like it when people put working on something. So someone might want a little heater, although this wouldn't be a very energy efficient one and they can grab this, but the trouble is the copper thieves have got to it and of course taken the power lead away. So it sort of, well, renders it as trash. And I was, was here and it's funny, sometimes you see something and I don't know, certain images sort of set things up in your mind. And I saw this and sometimes you think how sad, you know, imagine if this little doll could talk and the sort of life she had, the toy story she could tell with whoever owned her, but look where she is, she's out in the rubbish pile and I'll, actually what I'll do, I'll, I'll put her in a bag, that'd be a more fitting place I think to put it there, and then she's covered up. Even a toy has to have a dignified finish I believe. If you're wondering, the barbecues are always, always in the rubbish pile, they're like the office chairs. And they always suffer the same fate, and the fate of this one can be seen down there where the burners are. Basically, the burners burn out. Back in its day, it wouldn't have been a cheap unit either. These cheap outdoor chairs are often on the rubbish piles. Uh, they get some affected, they get brittled, and they get thrown out all the time. And I should feature some art because we have to be arty in these videos. There we go there. What movement is that one there? Well, I'm calling it the trash pile movement. Some more of those outdoorsy sorts of chairs, plasticky, get some affected, they become brittle. But these ones are telling me a bit of a story of what happened last year. That's a hail strike damage piece there, and there's also another hail strike damage there. The more you look here, the more damage that you can see. Okay, so yeah, I've ended up in the rubbish pile basically a year after the hailstorm. And the problem with these is they get all brittly and uh, they go like that once they've been sun affected. Now I'll try and put that back. Uh, neatly somewhere like like there. It's funny you notice one thing and then you start to see more and more more of those uh, really really rubbishy chairs lots of them that must be a popular office chair it's got a fan. Another beautiful pile of rubbish very colorful isn't it I see some rope there yapping dogs in the background 
But what caught my eye, and I always stop and give these a little bit of time, it's a little Tykes vehicle, yeah! This little Tykes vehicle, it's in pretty good nick, a little bit sun affected, and all the wheels on it still work, which is nice. There would still be plenty of play left in this, believe me. Uh, it has got a bit of a spider nest, uh, but that's a welcome to Australia sort of thing. Oh great, they had little areas we could put imaginary fuel in. This is like a pickup version, or as we say in Australia, ute. Okay, and I think what I've learned with vehicles like this, don't get the non-little tykes ones. Only stick with little tykes because they're made better and they're a much better scale as well. The knockoff ones tend to be smaller in size. It's not very pleasant being outside in bushfire smoke. Um, I like looking at rubbish piles, but I prefer to look at it in clean air. There's a new epidemic or problem happening in my suburb. The council's planted all these new trees and basically as they get planted, well guess what, they get stolen as well. Here's one of the locations of a stolen tree. It has been dug out by a shovel. You can see the shovel marks going down the side here. I dare say that's a free tree for someone. And to give you an idea of what people are stealing, there's one of them there which hasn't been dug out. Yes, that would make a nice free Christmas gift if you stole it. There's something about golf gear uh, this time around, I just can't explain it. There's some beautiful smoke haze, but guess what? There's a stolen tree. When I'm looking at the rubbish piles, you know, I see all sorts of things. There's a lost cockatiel sign here. I've just covered up the phone numbers. Quite sad, it looks like it would be a lovely bird. Yet another hole in the ground, that's a stolen plant again. Do you remember what was on that rubbish pile there? It was in that position right there, that beautiful metal pedal car. I thought it was too good to leave in the rubbish pile. Someone's claimed it. Hopefully it's got a new life. I'm down at a local reserve. It's a nice pretty place but because the rubbish piles have been building up, children sometimes grab things from them and then ride them down here and dump it right there and they tend to unpretty the place. It does make me a little bit annoyed. Now as you can see there's lots of smoke in the air. The bushfire season has been really bad in Australia in 2019 and it will go over to 2020. This is still very early days. The fires are on a scale like many people have never ever seen before. Uh, as I'm making this video, the number of properties lost, it's up around 750 and I think it's got a lot higher to go yet. As for the lives lost, it's still fairly low, but that, that may change. It all depends on the weather. There's nothing they can do to put these fires out and they are closing in on Sydney in what is akin to a pincer movement. Massive fires. And it's been all up and down the east coast. What did we learn in this video? And looking at the rubbish piles. Well, the funny thing that stood out to me was sometimes you see almost like trends of things getting thrown out. As for the golf clubs and things, bizarre. Most other times when I've looked at rubbish piles, I would rarely ever see them. <laughs> yeah, this time around, I lost count. Uh, the other very, very interesting thing, and I was amazed and, well, really glad to get it on video, was seeing the redback spider nest underneath the Thomas the Tank ride on, and the ants were attacking those redback spider eggs. And it always confirms to me that what is one of the most problematic things up against a redback spider, and that is ants. And I've sort of known that from other videos that I've made. And I think it's a great lesson that, yeah, as amazing a killer as a redback spider is, ants can come in and really cause trouble. It's very pretty here, uh, very pretty. And there's a lookout down here. Normally you can see across the valley and see the wonderment of this end of the suburb, but I don't think we'll be seeing very much today. This is amazing. It's like someone has turned on the biggest smoke machine in the world and have completely obliterated the view from here, normally you look out to a valley that goes down to the water. All I can see is, well, basically a sea of white smoke and nothing else. As I stand here, I know that the direction of the big fires is one to the northwest, which is that direction there. It's basically the size of the Sydney Basin. It's enormous, and I watched that fire start from a very small area out near Glen Davis. And then if I swing the camera this way, you can imagine if we're looking out into well, the distance, there's a massive fire down in the Blue Mountains and it's just getting bigger and bigger and bigger and eventually many people will say these fires will link up 
and it'll be very similar to what happened back in 1994, which was a very, very bad year for fires. If you don't know much about Australia, there's one thing that really defines Australia, and that is it's a country of extremes. The fire season we're seeing at the moment is something that you may have to wait 30, 40, 50 years to see. And really the fire has total control. The fire will do whatever the wind makes the fire do. As humans, we seem to have no control on where the fire goes, where it starts, where it stops. And it is very early days yet. This has many, many more weeks to play out.